everybody. So here we are uh, inside our little garage storage room, which happens to have the breaker panel uh, for our house electricity. On the other side of this breaker panel is our analog meter. Now, this is Heather Thunderhawk's channel, and she has a series of videos that she has shared here regarding the electrocution invisibly that we are uh, being subject to. And it's a very uh, disturbing and important subject to be uh, discussing. In this video right here, she tells how she went to a restaurant to get some food in town and started having a lot of difficulties with her heart because of the whatever uh, frequencies were going on around there in there something to do with up there in the town at that particular time and she shows she ha this is like a three series in a row um, and this is a major weapon being used against us I'm very concerned about it. Uh, we've got a whole lot of equipment here, and we've got the new smart meter that is the same kind APS is using in their service territory now. It's a Landison Gear Focus AXR. And uh, we're going to be running the electricity for the house through this smart meter, and we're going to be measuring the waveforms with this equipment. And, Here's Paul. Uh, he's going to tell us about this equipment and, and what's going on here. Thanks, Warren. So what we've done is uh, made a board, okay, and uh, it's connected, like Warren was telling you, uh, to both phases, all right? So you've got 120 volts traveling through uh, to this uh, panel, and we're measuring the dirty electricity on both phases right now, so we're uh, doing this in GS units, Gramstetzer units, and we've got 15 on one phase and 25 on the other. It's somewhat clean. Um, now, traveling through... Somewhat clean, excuse me, you mean, so you mean that... Um, power, clean the, power. The, the, the power is clean, in other words, we have a, we have a nice waveform with no high voltage transients. Right. Uh, or you in, in, in TV land can look up high voltage transients. So uh, the power right now is, is being directed with this double throw switch and uh, it's traveling through a gram ubiquitous filter. Uh, the gentleman that um, designed this has patents uh, for the ICBM uh, missile guidance uh, system. So he was no dummy. Uh, what this filter does is it takes out the 60 hertz and gives us pure frequency over here that's riding on the 60 hertz. What is what is this over here? What is this? So this is an oscilloscope. This uh -huh. is a fluke oscilloscope. It's not influenced by anything. It's battery operated. And channel uh, B or input B is connected um, uh, through the filter, and uh, channel A is uh, not going through the filter. So you see the 60 hertz. This is what it would look like if you were to look at a 120 volt AC uh -huh. receptacle. All right, so to measure RF uh, transmitting from the smart meter, we're using an HF 59B from Gigahertz Solutions, and you'll hear when it transmits. All right, so I'm going to just you hear like little ticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll hear hear a distortion. Yeah, right. I can hear so that on mine outside the door here, out in front. The panel. You hear it ticking sometimes. All right. And now we're going to measure electricity running through the smart meter. All right? Okay. Right now the switch isn't thrown. As you can see, there's nothing happening. Yep. So we're going to turn this on. Whoa. All right. So we've got quite a Look bit of that. distortion yeah. going on. All right. And that tick, that's the smart. Listen to it. Yeah. Wow. So we're going to try to catch it when it transmits. Yeah. yeah. That didn't look like that when we just had, wow, right. we just had the yeah, it, it right. didn't sound but scary. That. that was a lot of transmissions too in just a small amount of time. And we're seeing Can you imagine what it's doing to our uh, bodies. The new smart meters. Yeah. 
They're more active. Much more active. Yeah, not that the other ones were good. Oh. But right. This is worse. Yeah. Right. So if your head was on the other side of this panel, uh, which mine was when I first was introduced to the smart Because your, your bed was right there. My, my bed was on the other side of the panel for the, for yeah. the house. So I was uh, absorbing quite a large magnetic field and an electric field. As this will, in addition to the to the broadcast microwaves, right. And yeah. so when they when this started to transmit, I woke up, and that yeah. was at three twelve. Yeah. So I'm sleeping about I'd say thirty to forty feet, maybe, from the smart meter at the front of this house. I sleep in the back of the house, and I was having a lot of sleep problems and I put a I made a Faraday cage to go over the smart meter and I noticed right immediately that I was sleeping better but I do still wake up at certain times for no reason just wake up you know sometimes 2 a.m. sometimes 3 st stuff like that just wake up out of the sound sleep um, and there are smart meters in one in each one of these units, so it's like we're right here in the middle of a big pot of soup of smart meters. And, you know, all the other things that everybody's got, all those cell phones coming in that they leave on all day and all night. Um, the Wi-Fi everybody has in here except us. I'm sure that we're the only ones who don't have it. We're hardwired in here. Um, but still, you know, it comes through the walls. It comes through here to us. But not as severely as if we were pounding it on us through our own Wi-Fi and our own smart meter, you know, without a Faraday cage cover covering. At least I think that that, that helps somewhat anyway. And then they got to have their satellite dishes. I don't know. I don't know what those do, but just the smart meters and the Wi Fi and the cell phones. It's pretty bad if you live in condos, townhomes, or apartments. It seems to be the worst. If you lived in a freestanding house, you could at least put a Faraday cage on your smart meter. That would help a lot. Uh, I have a friend who moved out of state, out of the state, because you cannot um, refuse. I forget what they call it, but anyway, in this state, uh, you can't have that other meter put on. It's mandatory, smart meters by force. Or whatever wording you know you can find for that, because it's not coming to me right now at the moment. But but you can't you can't be without a smart meter here. In this state, some states you can you know get the other one put on, pay a fee, different things like that. But not here, and not some other states too. In the morning. Yeah, so so I think what we're seeing here, folks, is is not just the microwave transmissions that go through the air uh, from the smart meter, but they also, because this is at the entrance of the electricity to your house, the transmission, the, the frequencies of the transmissions get get sent along the wiring as well, and that's what we're seeing here on this fluke oscilloscope. Is that right? Is that, that, that that's correct. Yeah. And it just doesn't stay in the wiring. Right. It actually radiates six to eight feet from the wire. So uh -huh. it's not just coming from the little outlet. If right. you were to it's take the wire. wire. Yeah. yeah. So you're... we're basically living in a, in a big antenna. Right. Yeah. Correct. Correct. So you yeah. can't really escape that. So yeah. people that are sleeping in a bedroom with a smart meter connected to it are going to have a higher exposure than somebody that's going to sleep in a room on the other side of the house. They're still yeah. going to have an exposure, yeah. but not a great as great as one. Yeah. So can you just imagine if your children are in a bedroom that's behind the wall, behind that thing, or behind the Wi-Fi, 
uh, thing where that transmission comes out from. And the parents, you know, or maybe they're sleeping back here in the back of the house where they're not getting hit quite as hard as the children, but you got your children or your babies up there behind that thing and you don't even know what's going on? Hmm. Yeah. And so this would explain why a lot of people who could handle uh, a, a baby monitor, uh, their cell phone, the Wi-Fi, all that stuff. And let me tell you, those baby monitors, uh, yeah, steer clear of those. Steer clear of those. Please. This is why the smart meter puts those people over the top, right? So in, in terms of in terms of illness and discomfort and correct and, and what have you. Correct. Yeah, you're all absorbed. symptoms that the people uh, can can show from this. Well, the 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 frequencies being transmitted is it's not just the 900 megahertz that's trans that's 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 the microwave. That's yeah. the microwave yeah. effect. But this effect is much greater. It it's like no other device in your home. Uh, you are absorbing this, and you're absorbing frequencies known to affect the cell membrane. So down into the 10 kilohertz range, 15 kilohertz range, and, and it's been known for, you know, over 50 years that these particular frequencies and waveforms... When you say known, known by who? By uh, IEEE, so the uh, Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Uh, from the uh, that's a, national that's a, that's a mainstream outfit. In yeah, the, you know uh, the EPRI yeah. uh, Journal of Neurophysiology. Yeah. Um, they're really excited about using this uh, instead of medication when they do surgery because they're able to create nerve block by opening potassium channels and, uh -huh. and, and calcium and, and sodium channels yeah. uh -huh. just with. Mm -hmm. um, Frequencies, so mm -hmm. 10 kilohertz. So it has so. some positive use, but in your home all the time, so it's called, maybe not yes. so positive, huh? Yeah, probably not so much. You know, yeah. anything that can affect you on the biological level is a poison. You know, it's just yeah. a matter of... And this stuff is cumulative. It's not leaving the body. It's cumulative. So why so much cancer? A dose. Yeah. So, so you're uh, getting dosed all the time with one of these. All the too. time, yeah, yeah. So, so this is not like your baby monitor. This isn't like your cell phone. Uh, this is like no. The thing with the baby monitors, why I say uh, avoid those like the plague, is they are like the Doppler radar. It's the same as that. Extremely, extremely toxic radiation. And you're going to put that right near your baby so you can have the convenience of not having your baby sleep in the room with you. Didn't used to be that way, did it? We slept with our babies right between us. No other device you're exposed to because it's using all the wiring that travels through this panel as an antenna. So it's an energized because it's, antenna. Because it's connected to it. Correct. It's the largest antenna, and you're exposed to this 24-7 if you're in the house 24-7. So it never... Yeah, and speaking of antennas, you know, our beds are antennas. The metal frame that our box springs sits on, and the box springs and the mattress itself has all these inner spring coils in it, all pulling electricity all pulling radiation into there and our body is lying on that for how many hours every night every single night of our lives a good recipe for a toxic buildup of electrocution i would say it cleans up as you saw it, yeah once you put this thing on it's a nightmare yeah. so what I've Folks, done is we've I've done a number of takes in this video, and it's mm -hmm. always the same. Okay. Yeah. So next we're going to uh, just look at, at what kind of frequencies we've got showing up. Oh, let's see here. Oops. You know, the, the 2 to 50 kilohertz range, it's not talked about much or at all. Uh, when we talk about smart meters. 
most people focus on the microwaves that are that are transmitting so these these kilohertz frequencies are doing some severe damage to people and nobody until this video nobody knows about that and if you want to look up what's happening in the kilohertz range these are just some of the studies and these aren't stack well this is a stack and some of them are single pages this is from the IEEE so you can find this with the IEEE that's a mainstream organization of electrical engineers isn't it right what's what's that study saying it's saying that they're able to cause and heatherthunderhawk.com this one right here electrical stimulation of 10 kilohertz at 5 milliamps was applied for 5 seconds at half the exonal length what are they trying to do they're modeling analysis of negative effects of high frequency electrical stimulation on axonal behaviors so that's the that's the title for that particular one here's another one high frequency electrical conduction block of mammalian peripheral motor nerve okay using 10 kilohertz right 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 10 kilohertz 30 kilohertz localized electrical nerve blocking at 10 kilohertz again anyway we could go on and on and on but this is these are all these are all mainstream organizations mainstream organizations they know exactly what they're doing there's no debating this right there are no studies saying that these frequencies that the smart meter is producing on the electrical wiring or on the electrical field that we're absorbing do not have an effect on a biological effect there are no studies that are saying that not one they can't you mentioned that these different frequencies radiate radiate out from the wiring to a distance of like six to eight feet how do you know that well I've got a electric field meter this particular one is made in Germany gigahertz solutions and we'll turn it on here and right now it's measuring 11 volts per meter in the air in the air right so it's radiating from the wiring we'll get close to one and show you how it will go up so exactly so Wow Wow so your head could be right next to that up like right there yeah so you're looking at about 44 45 volts per meter yeah right this location good thing I don't sleep there right correct but if you're absorbing that and those high frequencies are traveling on that wire yeah it's going to radiate into your head and into your whole body yeah so we tested our house we tested the smart meter before I made the Faraday cage and after I put it on and that went way way down after I put it on and also we tested all the other outlets and everything in the house everything was good except the highest uh, amount of crap coming out was from the refrigerator yeah that's why we don't want to sleep with the power on in our in our bedrooms because there are other things that are creating high frequencies yeah, well, we, we turn ours off in the bedroom yeah okay we used to turn ours off and after seeing all of this I'm going to be turning it off again in the bedroom have a flashlight that's what I was doing we were using flashlights if we had to get up at night um, but it's you know it's so convenient just if you want to if you wake up from all this crap waking you up I guess uh, flip your light on there right by the bedside that's easy and other than that I see no reason to have my bedroom power on so I'll be turning that off and going back to the flashlight now it would seem to me that you know many many people uh, involved in the smart meter issue are focused on the 900 megahertz uh, frequency that which is the microwave transmission but none of us knew that there were these other frequencies sort of hidden uh, in right. in that and and are being transmitted as well so uh, if I was a power company, uh, if I was a lawyer, if I was uh, the power company's lawyer, if I was the power company's insurer, I would be very concerned about this. 
If I was a damaged individual, I would be, I would be wanting more information about this because, in my opinion, this is why people are getting damaged. Why people who previously could handle all their wireless gadgetry, their Wi-Fi and their cell phone, and then when they get the smart meter in their house, all of a sudden, their world falls apart. And, and the devices that they used to be able to handle, they can no longer handle. So if we wonder why, why we can't sleep, and why we have a whole host of health issues going on, and why do we always feel like shit? Start wondering about these things. Smart meters. Disgusting.